Okay, good morning. So your friend Rakesh once again, all the way from Toronto, Canada. So today's topic is making first million is difficult and after money attracts money. You might have heard this phrase, money attracts money and making first million or first crore is difficult. Why? So let me, you know, throw my uh, two cents today that what my understanding about those phrases yeah making first million or making first crore difficult and after that money attracts money why so we have heard in hindi roti kapra or makan what are our basic needs a food a shelter and a clothing if you want you can add children's education also becoming very very significant part of your expenses yeah so let's just dive into the topic. Why making first million is difficult and then money starts attracting money. Why? So your basic needs, chances are there that uh, your home, your clothing, your children education will be taken care of by first million. Especially your in North, in North American terms, your RESP, that is your children education fund and your mortgage, that is your home. These two things will be taken care of after making first million. I'm not saying the luxury class home, but yes, today in Canada, you can buy a house for half a million dollars and rest half a million dollars for education and other bells and whistles in your life. So that is the thing. That's why they say the making first million is difficult because you fulfill your those basic needs. For the sake of easy understanding, I have created three category of financial freedom or retirement zones. And those three are, that is economy class freedom, the second one is first class freedom and the third one is luxury class freedom. Why well, I'm going into these three classes and what is the whole idea about it? Let me explain to you. For instance, you know, everybody say that to grow financially, you have to take risk. Then why we don't take a risk? They say, you know, uh, the biggest risk in life is not to take the risk. And we all know that risk taking, you know, will force us to grow financially, skill wise in all walk of life. But why we don't take a risk? By the way, today I'm standing because I'm now getting little energy with your comments and likes and some talks. So I'm getting energy. So no more sitting. So I started, you know, let's talk today while standing and no more those glasses, no more those headphones free freedom, you know, of opinion. Okay, anyway, so yeah, so coming to that. So why we don't take risk because of our responsibilities? You know, we are 40 year old, we have kids, we have parents to support, we have home mortgage, we have a car payment, we have so many, so many, so many. So that's how we don't take a risk. So is any way, if we can take up these responsibilities, with that our risk taking capability will increase. That's why I have made those three categories. That for financial freedom, the category number one is your economy class financial freedom what does it mean in economy class only you you full you will get your needs to be fulfilled what does it mean having a home is your need but having home with a 10 bedroom and you know two acre lot that is your want so i'm not going into it i'm going your basic need so try to have if you're in india you can construct a house in 10 lakhs rupees also in a village in small house or 10 crore or 100 crore. So what I'm trying to say that try to find out what your basic needs are. Basic house, having a car, it might be a need like in North America, it's a need in India, it might not be a need. You can manage with a two wheeler, but even if you want to, to have a car, 
Maruti 800 also a car, but then going Mercedes also a car. So having Mercedes is your want, but having just Maruti is your need. So not to make it complicated, what I'm trying to say, that is, is better to fulfill your economy class of retirement or financial freedom means have like, you know, economy class house and have economy class car. If you don't need, don't need it. And have, you know, the children, children education, like, you know, not just whatever the capacity you have to think about that. But think about that your children education is being taken care of, your house is taken care of and major expenses being taken care of. And now you are free. Otherwise, what will happen whole life? You always want to have a big car, a big house and big, big things and you never get freedom and whole life you struggle. So that's what I meant. So try to have how much you need to have this economy class set up, economy class house, economy class schooling for your, you know, your kids and economy class car. So if that is being fulfilled, now you have confidence, even if you don't make much money is still a shelter of food, clothing and your children education is being taken care of and give little breathing room to yourself for one year or for two years. And what you do now? Now you have increased your appetite for taking your risk. Venture out, start a business, change your job, change your career, you know, do whatever you want or just take a year off and just roam around the India or about the, the, the world and come back with the, you know, fresh energy. So with that, you might encounter the idea you have never thought of. And after that, if you got some more funds, you can now improve to the your financial you know uh, category to the second category that is called the first class category what is the first class category now you can jump into your wants you had a car maybe marty or maybe small you know honda civic but now you can fulfill your want because of the risk you accumulated more money now you can go into maybe the bigger car maybe the bigger house maybe the big best better neighborhood or better schools did you get it and once you fulfill first class and secure this class now you have more breathing room to take the risk and accumulate and then you can go to the luxury class or a contribution class what is the luxury class now you may want to have two cars, you know, and branded cars and, you know, imported cars or high brand cars. You want, you may want to have two homes. One is a summer home, one is a regular home, or you want, you want to have a vacation home. Now all this luxury class or influential class means now you are influencing even your people in your society because people start following you. And also called the contribution class. Maybe now you reach up to that class that you can contribute. You can do the charities or you can help others. So did you get it? I hope I didn't make it complicated. So let's recap. So when people say that making first million is difficult and then money start attracting money, that's why they say because after making first million or first crore, what had happened that you are able to fulfill your basic needs and now you have this mental freedom that hey no matter even if I stop making money still there will be food on the plate there will be shelter and there will be clothing and there will be education for my kids and you get the mental free when you are mentally free then your risk taking capacity suddenly increases and when, when you are mentally free, responsibility wise, not in the scarcity zone, then creativity goes beyond expectation and then you flourish. Now the idea comes and you get so many possibilities to explore and you take risks. That's how you grow. And now you are unstoppable. So ladies and gentlemen, I will highly, highly recommend. That's what I did. If you have seen like around five months back, I totally stopped working and I took kind of the, you know, the mid to retirement couple of years. Even if I don't work, touch wood, it's OK. Family will run and everything will be taken care. But now at least I have that little appetite to take the risk because I have those resources reserved for that period.
they got it so wherever you are stop I'm so sorry to say that, but stop living for others and for the society. Sometimes we have to have a big house or a big car or big school because my neighbor had no. Don't sacrifice your life for others. Don't, you know, you know, struggle yourself because of just that you are competing with others. No. So sit down with your spouse, with your children or whoever you feel that, you know, need to be a part of your discussion panel and sit down and just see wherever you are. You may want to you may want to shrink. I mean, you may want to kind of uh, go the smaller house or maybe the smaller car so that you can uh, you know have some extra money and that money you use to take that risk taking for one year or two years. If you have a money that you can support not to work. Uh, you can take so many risks and those risks are going to give you the life which you always wanted. Okay. See, in, in the short, compromise with your wants. Fulfill your needs and compromise with your wants to create that breathing room where you can take a risk on new platform, on new adventure, on new you know, um, uh, career, new, uh, you know, you know, today this uh, social media and online internet has opened so many, so many opportunities. Okay. So thank you very much once again. And I always say that just write down your city name so I know where you guys are from. Let me give a quick shout today who all are here. So Amit. And Shadhola Mishra Ji, Sandeep, and Deshi Roosh, and Neil. Neil is the guy, you know, the house ham right now. He's our house provider. I mean, he's the one who helped to buy this house 10 years back. And then Bina Shepard, my Bangalore buddy from US, and the Rupi, and then Shashi, and then the Dante, and the Shubarna, all the way from Czech Republic, and Shurabi, and Devi, and KM Khalid Bai, and the Kathy, and the Shuddaji. So thank you very much. And please, please write comment if you like something. I will not leave you alone like that. Whatever I have learned, I'm just sharing. And it worked for me, it will work for you. Just only thing, whole idea about this today's Facebook Live was that free your mind so that you can take some risk. When you free your mind, those financial responsibility, those worries, then your creativity increases. And when the creativity increases, ideas comes. And those ideas can be monetized very, very smooth way. So with that, thank you very much and salute you as always. And today, love you all. Standing. So I'm feeling really, really energized. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow with some other crazy idea and crazy topic. Feel free to just send me a quick, uh, you know, the, the comment if you want to cover. Otherwise, I'll be covering anyway. So thank you very much. I hope I am able to give some value. Okay.